Well, I was uh, very, very impressed with that win by Green, and Green is really gassed. We can see him sitting down. 250 pounds. And now we've got the top of the mark, if you will, 250 pounds. And we hear Steve Vetch being introduced from Saratoga, another one of those fine Section 2 wrestlers, his senior 27 and all, 111 and 11. And he's up against Steve Whalen from Massapequa, 22 and all, 66 and 11. So we should have always an interesting match in the 250 pound division. And a lot of speed here. A lot of speed. And we get the two bears pushing each other out of bounds. Impressed, got to be impressed with Vetch's record. He's his first time at the States, but he's got a 111 and 11 record. So he certainly knows his way around a wrestling mat. One thirty left, no points scored yet. Vetch and Whalen. Vetch from two in the maroon singlet. And Whalen from Massapequa, section eight. Reed Hawk for the head table, please. Mr. Reed Hawk for the head table, please. Right now, Vetch working but to no avail on Whalen, both of them like two bears trying to balance on a log there they're both upper body both going for the throws as coach Leo Johnson mentioned before in Timmy Green's match a lot of these section two men involved in uh, off-season activity Greco-Roman a lot of body throws One a lot minute. of chest-to-chest -chest upper body strength and style and right now Vetch from two and Whalen from eight both throwing each other around but no points scored Again, they go out of bounds. Nice scoop by Vetch, but time. too late. Chairman, bring your most outstanding wrestling balance down, please. Chairman, bring your most outstanding wrestling balance down as quickly as possible. Section two, as we're telling up, Doug Hartman, and of course, the, my colleague, going to try to give us an unofficial estimate of just how ch uh, section two is doing. And regardless of this match, we have them way ahead. And of course, a lot of that depends not on these final matches, incidentally. Uh, there's a lot of uh, wrestling, wrestlebacks for third and fourth place and fifth and sixth. And the more people you have in the wrestlebacks, of course, the more points you're going to score. Warning for stalling. I believe Whalen was warned. A little bit of an arm drag attempt by Vetch and a throw by Whalen, and they both go out of bounds. No points scored. We got 21 seconds left in this first period. Nice snap, nice move by Whalen. Gonna pick up the first points of the match and the take down. He snapped Vetch's head down and just spun around sideways, picked up a quick two. Now he's working a two on one. And that's going to end the first period. So, Steve Vetch down by a score of 2 nothing as Steve Whalen came up with two quick points about 10 seconds before the buzzer on a takedown. And we're going to get a chance to talk to the 177 pound champion who wrestled. I just want to check here, yes. Beckner and Jim Madison, congratulations. Uh, had kind of a slow start. We were a little bit worried there. What happened? Uh, he was a little tougher than I expected on my feet. <laughs> yes, he looked, uh, he was very, very confident on his feet. He looked like he gave you a little bit of trouble like that, but uh, good third period for you. Yeah. Uh, same uh, Leland Rogers match, very similar. Yeah, just just waiting him out, that's what it was. Just, I just held back and held back till I found my opening and I just went for it. You were patient. Now, yeah. We've seen in some of these matches people get a little desperate early when they're down and uh, was the run doing, but you seemed very patient. Were you aware of that, that you didn't want to make any? I, I like bottom. I like coming out. So I just waited until the time was right to make sure I get the move I wanted. 
No, I went with all I had. <laughs> no, you were in a good position there on the bottom to start out, and I thought you really showed uh, good conditioning there and, and good intelligence. Uh, Murder's Row did it, 67, 77, and 215. Uh, did you think you could pull it off, you three guys? Well, we, we've been pressing each other all week. I mean, tonight we just, a pre-game psyched what it was, and we just outlined it. Good competition among you three people? Yeah, we've been working pretty hard together. Well, Jim Madison, uh, listen, congratulations, and uh, you did a nice job. Thank you. 177 pound state champ. Thanks for talking to us. All right, we're back to this 250 pound class, and the score is now changed as we're going to get three points, and I believe Whalen's going to going to take a little time out there for a bloody nose. Whalen take down ahead. and escape. I Whalen is ahead here, three, three nothing. Yeah, he got a take down there. In the just about period. 10 seconds left to go in the first period. Nice sort of a snap down, spun around, took Vetch down. And uh, Vetch, as we mentioned, 111, uh, excuse me, 111 wins. That's quite a bit. I'm sure uh, some of those uh, are at heavyweight. Uh, in fact, I'm sure a lot of them are at heavyweight because you just don't get that many matches at uh, Unlimited because it's not, it's only a tournament weight class. And you just, only at tournaments do you see those. And we get a coach uh, shot of Coach Dick McPherson there who has got to be very happy that um, he signed Timmy Green, a local product, to a football scholarship. And I talked to Timmy Green earlier, and he said, Dale, this is going to be my last wrestling match, and I think he wanted to go out a winner, and it, it, it sure showed because he wrestled very, very smartly against Sable, and uh, Timmy Green uh, going to be a fine addition to the Syracuse University student body and, and certainly to the football team. And it wouldn't be bad to see him wrestle for Syracuse, too, but I don't think uh, generally doesn't work out like that. But uh, Timmy Green Lion. certainly uh, showed his medal tonight. As last year, he was eliminated by Andy Schwab and uh, probably was the, the second best wrestler here, but uh, couldn't get to prove it because he got eliminated earlier. But this year, Schwab having graduated with Timmy Green's time, and he showed it very, very well against a, a tough tough competition from section two. I'm fairly impressed uh, getting back out to this match of the speed of these unlimited well, I mean, wrestlers. They, they, this uh, match seems to go faster than Timmy Green's match uh, with Sable at 215. They, they've got quick feet and uh, they move very quickly. Whalen now got a got an arm up on Fetch and Fetch has had trouble with him. Fetch now down by five points. Whalen of course from Massapequa High School, a very, very good wrestling school on Long Island. And of course, Fetch from Saratoga one of those Section 2 schools that's shown so well in this 1982 season. <laughs> Vetch shakes off the fact that he's got a bloody nose. Not a bloody nose, he's got a cut across the bridge of his nose. He told the referee, now nah, that's all right, don't bother stopping the match. And there's 23 seconds left in the second period. Vetch looks like he's on the verge of an escape but uh, broken down well by Whalen. Whalen lets, Whalen lets him sit out and turn in and then just grabs him. Whalen is uh, fairly impressive. He's built like a beer keg. <laughs> he's got a, he's, a beer keg on uh, sneakers with uh, Whalen. This is his first year up here, so he hasn't been here before, but uh, he's 66 and 11. He wins six times as many matches as you lose. You gotta be doing something right. And he's doing something right now as he's up five nothing over a, I would suppose you'd have to say favored Vetch, Steve Vetch from Saratoga. And the second period's going to end with Whalen in the lead and in control, five nothing. <laughs> Vetch says he's up and uh, Vetch, Vetch made a mistake. He looked at the referee and Referees said- Referees don't normally make mistakes, Dale, like that. Uh, Lowell, if you have a question in your mind, it's always good to ask because oh, certainly, yeah. it makes a difference. You could be right. You're normally not, but you <laughs> could be. But I'll check it. Vetch uh, shrugs off that arm, gets an escape, going to make it 5-1. In the stage area, all second two wrestling. I got to believe that this could be uh, the most state champions that section three is, has ever had. I don't know. Uh, Maybe we can check it, but uh, I'm quite sure. And, and despite that, I don't think they're going to finish any higher than third. So I think third place is going to be the highest they're going to reach. And it, it, it's just like any team. You can have several outstanding wrestlers, but if you don't have the depth, you're not going to win. And uh, that's what happened here. That's right. Uh, uh, I think we had the depth. I just think that maybe some of the gentlemen 
didn't wrestle up to their capabilities, or they met you know extra tough wrestlers earlier. And Certainly, uh, as we mentioned before, the wrestlebacks are very important for firing points. It's not just this final match. And as we look back, Section 3, obviously a very, very strong team, and certainly nothing to be ashamed of to come in third. Right now, good good movement on the mat as Whalen. I can't cascades, believe how these guys are throwing each other around. towards, the, towards our, our uh, bench here. The agility our, uh, is something else on these guys. They're doing a very good job. They've got 112 left to throw each other around, and as... Leo mentioned, Leo Johnson mentioned, <laughs> he gives a, they're going to call both of them for stalling, I believe. I don't really think that you can do that. Well, you might not be able to, but he just did it. I'm wondering myself, too, because we, we, we didn't One minute. realize that that was done. Uh, now it's 6-2. Oh, and Whalen shrugs him by, and he picks up two points, and they go out of bounds. That should kind of sew up the match unless something desperate happens here, uh, and it hasn't so far. Should be 8-2, I believe, if they right, gave they, one, one apiece for Stone. They're going to have a little conference here. Uh, the assistant referee is going to go over and talk. Pete Durland is the uh, official, or excuse me, the assistant referee, Dave Clements. And they're going to be a little discussion here at the scores table while they determine whether, indeed, Whalen had that takedown. I'm not sure what they're checking out. They still only have 6-2 on the scores table. They have a difference of... Well, now they're taking off the, the, the one points he awarded for stalling. As we mentioned... Uh, <laughs> they still have a six-point difference. Yeah, now they're changing the score. Seven-one. They just, Seven as you one. said, they can't give a you point You can't give a, a double point for uh, that type of thing. They so, used to be able to. In actuality, it remains the same. A six-point lead for Whalen, seven-one. And now... Vetch gets an escape, gonna make it 7-2. He's got about 42 seconds left. And again, they go chest to chest, lock those hands up. I don't think I'd like to go chest to chest with either one of these gentlemen. No, we'd probably find you up with the popcorn because uh, <laughs> these guys have got good agility and they're very, very strong. I, and Voyle Vetch. Seems, Voyle seems to be in control. Right. Vetch is looking at the clock. He's very concerned. Uh, the most he can hope for, I think, is a tie here. I don't think he's gonna be able to pin him. He's got to hope to throw him and get the two points takedown and three points near fall. And Whalen, uh, a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit stockier, certainly uh, doesn't seem to be bothered by it because he'll line up with him chest to chest. And they they do both it have great upper body strength. You can see the, the definition. They used to be the heavyweights with the big fat fatzos, and uh, that's no longer the case. Uh, right now, Vetch tried a desperation snap down, and uh, it's going to be all over, but the awarding of the first place Ribbon as a game try by Steve Vetch and defeated by Steve Whalen. So two Steves. So 250 pound champion from Section 8, Steve Whalen from Massapequa High School. Decisions by a 12 to 2 score. Steve Vetch from Saratoga High School. Fifth place, Frank